Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 36 in the Did You Know series in which we'll be taking a look at 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K20. As always, if there's anything you would like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could see your suggestion featured in a future episode. Did you know that you can now customise the demon's body paint? This one is a change that came about as of patch update 1.08. As prior to the patch, players were only able to change the colour of the demon's face paint, however following the patch, King Frost reveals that the body paint option is now also available, meaning players can now customise the colour of the demon's body paint. Did you know that 2K have added 3 new fictional locations to the hometown options? This one comes from Alfie Voice and Tommy Guns underscore 1669, who reveal the addition of 3 new hometown options when selecting a hometown in Create a Superstar, as following the release of the Empire of Tomorrow DLC, 2K have updated the fictional section to include options for the Authority Megacorp HQ, the Neo Osaka region, and the internet. Did you know that the generic stable entrances also include animations for a fourth member? This one comes from Cody Whelan and TGB, who reveal something you might not know when assigning the generic stable 1 and 2 entrance motions, as not only do these work as true entrances for teams of 3 members, should you select these motions with a team of 4 members, then this will see the motions updated to include an extra animation for the 4th member. Did you know that the green moveset man from the Smackdown vs Raw games makes an appearance in WWE 2K20? For fans that grew up playing the Smackdown vs Raw games then you're bound to be familiar with the green and red moveset man that used to appear and create a moveset, however something you might not know is that the green moveset man actually makes an appearance in 2K20. Green's appearance comes when viewing certain victory motions in Create a Victory, a shooting load of motion that features a superstar interacting with their opponent, such as Summer Rae's old motion, which is titled Summer Days, the green moveset man could be seen laying on the mat as the superstar interacts with them. Another victory scene that features the green moveset man is Ted DiBiase's, as this motion will see a chosen superstar placing a banknote in Green's mouth. Did you know it's possible to recreate the Performance Center Raw and Smackdown sets featuring an empty arena? Should you want to recreate the empty arena sets that are currently being used in WWE amidst the outbreak, then there is actually a way to do this if you're playing on PC. Firstly, what you want to do is head to Community Creations and do a new search for custom shows that use the hashtag SmackTalks as I've uploaded these two custom Raw and SmackDown shows that feature arenas set in a smaller performance center like venue. So go ahead and download these creations, then head on over to the main menu and choose Options, then Graphics Settings. In here, select the Audience Density option and adjust the scroller all the way down to zero as this will remove the entire crowd. Once done, select to play a new match and then head into the match options screen and change your arena to the custom Raw Smackdown show that you downloaded which will allow you to play matches in a smaller, empty Raw or Smackdown arena. Cutter! He's about to do it, he's a one ton bomb! So there you go, that was 5 things you might not know in WWE 2K20. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then you can check out the previous video here, or alternately you can subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for more Did You Know videos each and every week. Until then though, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.